Welcome back to question 7. If this is the first video you are seeing in the playlist, please kindly go to my YouTube channel. There is a playlist titled IGCSE Mathematics, paper 3 to May June 2024. There are 6 videos there. Question 7. The area of some land in the ratio is in the ratio park to gardens to playground uh, 11 to 2 to 3. The park has an area of 4,620 meters squared. Work out the area of the gardens and the area of the playground. So what you need to do here, let's write the ratios here. So we have park, ratio gardens, ratio playground. So we have the playground. Good. So we have 11 to 2 to 3, okay? So the park has an area of 4,000, that is 4,620 here. So what we need to do, what was done to 11 to get to become 4,620? So to get that, you have to divide 4,620 by 11 and you get 420. So that means 11 was multiplied by 420. To, uh, get this so you need to do the same to this that is times 420 so this is also multiplied by 420 so this will give you 840 and this will give you 1260 so for the garden we have 840 and for the playground we have 1260 part b the park area of 4,620 meters squared is made up of path and grassland. So 18% of the park area is uh, path. Okay. So uh, show that the grassland, the grassland area is 3,788.4. Okay. So out of 100%, so 18%, okay, belongs to the park. Okay, that is belongs to the path. Okay, so that means the remaining percent, which is 82, belongs to grassland. Okay, so that means we want to find um, 82% of 4,620. Okay, so you have 82 uh, out of 100 multiplied by 4620. So if you do this, you get 3788.4. Okay meter squared. Roman figure 2, uh, seed for the grassland is sold in bags. The seed in one bag covers an area of 280 meters squared. The bags cost $72 each for the first five bags and then $58 each for any extra bags. So calculate the cost of the seed needed to cover the grassland. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to get the uh, number of bags. Okay, so the number of bags. So that will be equals to 3788.4 divided by 280. Okay, because we have 280 here. So this will give us 13.53. Um, so approximately um, 14 uh, bags okay so we need 14 bags here now um, the first five bags cost 72 dollars so that means the cost okay will be equal to 5 into 72 dollars okay then plus um, out of 14 so we have the price of 5 okay so the remaining bags will be uh, $58 each, okay? So that is the remaining 9. So you have 9 into 58, okay? So if you input this into your calculator, you should get $882. So you have 882, okay? So that is what you need to do here. So let's go to the next question. Our question 7C. The owners of the land buy, the, buy new equipment for the playground. The borough 
$8,500 for four years at a rate of 6.5% per year compound interest. Calculate the amount they will pay at the end of the four years. Give your answer correct to the nearest dollar. Okay, so we have the our principal to be equals to $8,500. Then the time T to be equals to four years. So the rate equals to 6.5%. So which is equals to um, 0 0.065. Okay, and uh, N, the number of times interest is paid in a year, it is once. Okay, because um, it is per year compound interest. So that is the rate. Okay, so uh, the formula for amount will be equals to P into 1 plus R over N multiplied by NT. Okay, so if you key in the values, so we have 8,500 into 1 plus 1, 1 plus um, 0 0.065 over 1 into 1 times 4. So let's scroll down a little bit. So this will be equal to 8500 into 1.065 to the power of 4. So if you input this into your calculator, so you should get 10,934.96 and to the nearest dollar, it will be $10,935. So you have $10,935. Question 7D, the cafe in the park sells water in bottles A, B, and C. So this is bottle A, this is bottle B, this is bottle C. Okay, so work out which bottle is the best value. You must show all your working. Okay, so 330 milliliters for $1.98 dollars. And then uh, for but to be 500 milliliters for 3.2 dollars, and but to see 750 milliliters for 5.1 dollars. Okay, so what you need to do, what will be the cost price of uh, one millimeter in each of the bottles? Okay, that will tell you the best um, value. Okay, so let's say for uh, bottle A, for bottle A, okay. Um, the value, so 1 milliliter will be equals to um, 1.98, 1.98 divided by 330. And if you do this, so you'll get 0.006 dollar, okay? So for uh, but to B, okay? So for but to B, so one milliliter will be equals to, uh, let's see, 3.2 divided by 500, 3.2 divided by 500, sorry, 500. So that will be equals to 0.0064 dollar. Okay, so far so good, but A is still the best. Okay, so let's confirm uh, for, let's do the same thing for bottle C. So for but to C, so one milliliter will be equals to 5.1, okay, divided by 750, and this will give us 0.006A, okay? So if you compare the answers, so this is the best value, so this will be but to A. So this is uh, the end of my solution to question seven. In the next video, I will solve question 8. Until then, have your fingers crossed.